Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we look at the Cinematic View plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create these cinematics that you can showcase to players. You can use them on YouTube if you're making a video. And there's a couple of different types. You can have a still teleporting one where you go to different angles around the build, or you can have the more traditional kind of fly through cinematic. So, I made the teleport one earlier. So, if we do CV view show and then it's called test it's going to go to different locations that I made for about a couple of seconds each and then it's going to teleport me back to where I was. So that is a very simplistic version. Uh, let's go ahead and create a more complex one of our own. So first of all we're going to do CV view create and then we're going to call it server miner. Now that we've created this we need to add some viewpoints. Fly to wherever you want to be and then do CV view add and then obviously the name of the video. So let's go ahead and add a few. You can change height, make it look really epic. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do CV view show and server miner. And you can see each interval is going to be a lot longer than what I set previously. And if we want to stop the show, we can do that by doing the stop command. Now immediately I like to set the interval to something a little bit shorter. So let's go interval and set two. And then if we were to view it again, it's going to go a little bit quicker, not as quick as my original one. And then a pretty handy command is the remove command. So if you've done a location that you don't like, here are all the six locations we set. You can remove one of them. And then there is also the swap command. So if you want to swap the locations of maybe three and five, hit enter and they will change the order that they appear in. We can do CV view info and then server miner and it's going to tell us everything about it. And you can see the view type is currently private. So if we do CV and then view set server miner, the type, you can set it to public if you want. And then if we do CV view invite and server miner, someone's name, so Dave, that would invite them to be a member of it. And if it was private, only they and myself could watch it. So finally, if we do CV view, and then we're gonna set the travel type to move instead of teleport, this is going to make it look a lot nicer. Um, but let's see what it looks like. We might need to adjust a few things. So view the show, serve minor. And you can see it's a little bit jittery in places. We might want to adjust the speed and how far away the points are. But you kind of get the gist. This is a great way to showcase the entire build. So I've just changed the interval to four and you can see it's looking a lot smoother now. Um, so you can continue playing around with it and adjusting it to make it as smooth as you like. And that way you can really show off your amazing builds. So I've just shown you how to set everything up using commands. Obviously that takes quite a while, but there is a really nice command, the CV open and then server minor command. And what do you know, there is an awesome GUI with basically everything that we've just covered. You can replace swap locations, obviously delete the whole thing, remove all, and add a location. So this is a much easier way to set it up than using all the commands. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.19 to 1.21. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a good amount of information here with the commands. Here's the lovely GUI, which we didn't actually use too much. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.